Hello and welcome to today's video. I'd like to thank Solbio for actually supporting this channel. And uh, Solbio is a completely natural toilet fluid. It can be also used in the waste tank. It's environmentally friendly as it's made from completely natural ingredients. So if you'd like to know more about this product, there'll be more at the end of the current video and there will be links below. Thank you. Here we've got a very interesting Unimog conversion using the carbon. It's very light, seven and a half ton gross vehicle weight. So there it is, the Unimog U4022. And, but the interior is, uh, as, as always with things that I do, uh, what we're looking at rather than the, the base vehicle. But so uh, let's have a, a walk around here. There you go, Mog X by Knoblau. And uh, and here we've got the garage. So we'll have a look in the garage, which uh, I think I've got my assistant to come and open. Okay, so you can see some of the electrics. Yeah. What are you going to do down here? Well, that's going to be um, some uh, some uh, thing glued here and here, so you can you know uh, get some boxes in there. So we always have the, ah, the you measurements, pull up boxes. 400 yeah. and 600 millimeters. So you know you have the, the euro boxes or the mm -hmm. tigers boxes. Even this is 600, 600 millimeters. There's going to be something in, in the front. You know you can open so you can can get mm -hmm. to the electrics. And um, yeah, that's about it actually. Oh, very good. Okay, okay great stuff. Yeah, Hi, my name is Tristan. And um, I'm here from Mogex, um, where uh, the company is called Knoblauch actually. And um, we're in our expedition uh, vehicle. Um, it's an Unimog U4023. And um, yeah, this is brand new. Actually, this is our second time on the Abenteuer and Rallrad. Uh, we've been here last year. And um, so we created this to bring it this time. And um, yeah, we got the same layout as last year, um, but we changed the materials. We got more wood now. And um, as I, can, I think you can see that we are uh, rather from the interior design coming. And that's what we wanted to bring uh, into this kind of vehicle. Yeah. We got all the nice LEDs. We got some nice atmos atmospheric lights. Um, we're actually, we built the cabin out of carbon. Um, it's, everything is ultra lightweight. Um, even the, the interior construction weighs just the, the furniture, I think about less than 200 kilograms. Um, so with this vehicle, we, we can actually achieve 7.5 tons. Yeah, I think you can see even the flooring, um, it's everything handmade, uh, we are all carpenters. Um, yeah, and that's I think the quality we wanted to achieve with this uh, vehicle. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Now, this vehicle hasn't been entirely finished yet, so we're not gonna see the wet room uh, because it hasn't been built. Uh, it's in the process of being built, but let's have a look at some features we've got here. Now, this it has got a corner bed up there. Uh, we've got a, a kitchen with a very long uh, work surface. It's electric uh, kitchen, so the, the it's a gas-free uh, unit, and uh, power obviously will come from the batteries. So the solar on the roof, and as these things are built to order, batteries and solar uh, de depend on whatever is ordered. They've gone for a straight, a flat line across here like this. So these things come out and of that nature. They've also designed internally their own catches. Below that you can see here we've got the uh, what's going on with the lights, the electricity 
and uh, so we can see how much is being actually used. So the LED in the eating part of the uh, vehicle is 0 0.7 amps and uh, in the LED in the garage as we can see here it's off and in the kitchen 1.8 so there's the kitchen LED and there's the eating LED over there uh, storage as you'd expect stacks of it down here we've got an, a um, domestic uh, sink and here we have got uh, storage space in there now um, I mentioned about the uh, not having a back for the whoever sitting down here now this wouldn't bother me but it would bother 99.9% .9 of the population but this black thing here actually becomes like a hard ba a back and because of the way it's constructed it doesn't slip backwards thus allowing the bed to become part of the semi dinette and we can actually see that if we turn around here and we can see in that picture there how that actually works so uh, design very uh, very modern sort of a Swedish type look a domestic uh, in my opinion maybe I'm wrong on that one I don't know anything about design but uh, Now, carbon fiber everywhere and means that weight can be kept down. And a huge panoramic light, uh, skylight there. Oh, another feature which is curious is down here. They, when, now, when the doors close, you wouldn't want a gap down, well, you might do, but you probably wouldn't want a gap down there. So this thing here will slide across. This is not yet completed, so, uh, but they say when it's actually finished, it will be flush with the floor. But uh, it isn't yet, but it will be eventually. So, uh, under here, uh, the, so this has been raised, you've got the air con under there as well as other electrical installations. Uh, the fridge will uh, go behind me, and uh, but the fridge isn't in uh, just yet. They have a very novel idea for the fridge, but once they've done that, uh, I'll come back and explain it then, and that'll be this time next year. this is the first time ever that I have accepted any support for uh, promoting a product on YouTube now I've been doing on YouTube now for 15 years and I've doing the van life stuff for a number of years as well um, the reason I haven't accepted support in the past is because I I felt it had to be something which I really agreed with and a product I knew so I had to feel a hundred percent about recommending it to others this is Solbio and this is a toilet additive now what's the point of a toilet additive well when you use the toilet then it goes into a cassette and you have to dump the cassette somewhere now uh, if you just urinate into it then there should be no problem but if you put any solids into it, then it makes it a bit more difficult. Now, one thing you can do is if you have constant diarrhea, then you may not need a toilet additive because you should be able to dump it without any problems. For those of you who don't suffer from this problem, then uh, one thing you might want to consider doing, in fact, one thing you're going to have to consider doing is using a toilet additive. And there's two types. There's the blue stuff, which is manufactured by a number of companies and it works pretty well no problems there whatsoever with the way it works or oh, there's the green stuff which is ecologically based now up until now the green stuff didn't work as well as the blue stuff but I think with Solbio uh, we're now seeing a comparative uh, working uh, rate it works just it works just as well 
so it's uh, ecological what it's got inside are natural soaps it's got natural citric acid it's got uh, essential oils and plant extracts and that breaks down whatever it is that you're throwing into the toilet or, or releasing into the toilet I should say and when you come to a dump station you can just tip up your cassette and it all flows in nicely now you may say well I have constant diarrhea and so therefore I don't need something like that well uh, that, that may be the, the case but one thing that this has got it's got a rather pleasant fragrance to it as well now I personally like the, the, the fragrance of the blue stuff but I know I'm in a small minority on that one one thing I noticed uh, when I've been doing tests of really small vehicles uh, such as you know five and a half meter ones above all so as soon as you open the door you have this um, uh, fragrance let's say of the blue stuff sort of sort of hits you now uh, with this one here Solbio it's got a more natural sort of smell it's, it's a bit uh, like uh, eucalyptus I'm trying to find a good way of actually describing it and the best thing I could think of it's got you know, these cough drops or these eucalyptus like sweets and it's got this type of fragrance within the uh, within the toilet anyway and uh, if you're in a small van I bet it fills up the it could fill up the small van I haven't really noticed it so when I'm sitting here in this position for example but uh, maybe I'm not using enough of it to actually notice uh, um, next thing is is it safe to use well the thing with the blue stuff is there are um, good reasons to suggest that it may not be completely safe to use I mean it does break things down in a chemical manner uh, I mean I'm not going to suggest it's um, dangerous or anything like that but I don't think it is particularly good for the environment uh, if it comes into contact with uh, plants or things of this nature I mean there's even there's warnings that I mean if you get it in a fish tank or something like I don't know what you want to put in a fish tank but uh, if you put it in the fish tank then the fish will die so um, this as it comes from natural things you assume that it's okay now the blue stuff as well I've noticed I always get it on my hands and not only that I mean obviously I sort of miss the toilet as well but sorry I get it in the toilet bowl I don't miss the toilet I miss the sort of the hole where you open up for the toilet and it sort of stains and it takes a few uh, flushes for it to actually go down I don't know if that's bad or not but um, it's uh, with this stuff it's uh, it's almost translucent not quite but almost as is when you dump it out which seems a bit odd the first time you think hang on just a minute I'm sure I didn't just urinate in there uh, but but that's the way that's the way it is um, the, the manufacturers say it doesn't cause skin irritation I have never experienced skin irritation from the blue stuff but I have heard of people uh, uh, having this problem and um, let's have another look at it because here it comes in two uh, this one one's for marine use and the others for motorhome use now it could be that mariners use the toilet or they eat something a bit more dodgy or I don't know but it's it's different this contains 40 um, doses and it's dosed via this thing down here this little tap now um, I know there are people who are suspect of these taps now I previously worked in the packaging industry and indeed I used to give uh, talks being an expert I don't think I was much of an expert but but uh, but uh, I do know a little bit about it this technology is perfectly safe I think to use it's not I mean it is often used in bag in the box applications and so you, know, you get wine or something the wines in a in a um, in a box and they've got this tap that sticks out and you and you use it in the company I used to work where we produced blueberry juice we use this technology and I've never known the taps to go wrong in my direct experience but when they first came out I agree there was problems with them I've heard of people saying they put something in the fridge or they, they uh, you know in the, in the van and something hit here 
in theory, you're supposed to knock both ends down at the, oh sorry, sorry, pull them both up and press down at the same time to get it to, to work. So I mean, I do accept that these things can go wrong, just as, I mean, if you don't close a bottle properly, everything will go out. But I make, I make that part. Other than that, the bag may seem a little uh, unsturdy because of the, the, the way it is, but I, I can tell it's made from um, recycled, uh, it's green plastic, it's, uh, and, uh, I think it's I think it's quite safe. So uh, there are some observations on this, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really do think it's a, it's it is a good solution for you. Now it costs roughly the same as the blue stuff. There isn't much difference. Now I do appreciate that. Um, in um, with if there was a price difference that might be a problem although I think if you're into motorhomes then you've probably like living in harmony with nature which is what I'm in it for really I think I think it's the call of nature this contact with nature and all the rest of it so I think that protecting nature is something that uh, I, I would want to do whether or not I'm prepared to pay a premium. Yes, maybe I'm prepared to pay a little bit of a premium for it, but in all honesty, this between this one and the blue stuff, there's hardly any difference. Right, so uh, if you find that of interest, there will be a link below. It's not an affiliate link, it just tells you where to get the stuff from. Uh, I'm not on any affiliate programs at all, deliberately, so nobody can accuse me of uh, uh, trying to promote something to get the affiliate uh, link. But I do absolutely believe in this product. So, thanks very much for watching. I am currently at a place called Alexa Camping, or Camping Alexa, in northern Poland. And you may have heard some of the noises on the outside from the campsite. But I shall tell you more about that in another video. So, there you go. This is about Solvio. Thanks for watching.